Maybe if I go like that, like, mm. let's try and make it taut. Oh, I'm gonna have to try that from now on. Just like squeeze forward. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to do like a revisit. This is a video that I have been thinking of filming for a while. First impressions, those are great, but they don't always give an accurate representation of somebody's opinion. So today I am going to be revisiting ColourPop and I feel like I need to take a moment and have a sip of my sake that I have over here because I got some hate on that video and it's like, whoa, I get it. I know maybe it came across as like, impulse purchase or whatever and I know it is such a beloved brand but let's get real you guys sometimes people just make purchases they've heard a ton about a particular product and they're excited and there's a sale and you make an impulse purchase and that's what happened I know many people watch swatching videos and review videos and they're all available at the tips of our at the tips of our fingertips at the touch of our fingertips. You know what I'm trying to say. But sometimes like, hello, I have a two year old, well no, a three year old and a five year old now, they just had birthdays and we get busy and sometimes we just buy things and we're excited to try them. I didn't love everything and I did love some things. Now I wanna come back and tell you guys my thoughts on those products after having used them for a while and also contemplating some future ColourPop purchases and I'd love your feedback. If you guys are not subscribed I hope you will consider subscribing before you go and if you like this video I do hope you'll give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my videos so if you want to see my thoughts on these products that I purchased from ColourPop then please keep watching Alright you guys, so before we get into the video, I'm going to go ahead and link right here the previous video that I was referencing in my intro in case you did not see it. It goes over all of the products that I purchased, my thoughts and my opinions, and we're going to go ahead and revisit those now, but I wanted to make sure that you did have reference just in case because this video might not make sense if you don't watch that one first. Also, shout out to Pure Cosmetics for this blush book. This was launched a while ago. I think it was a spring launch, but these blushes are so gorgeous. And I've actually never used this shade before, but I have it on today and it is such a pretty coral. I absolutely love it. I will say I would recommend using it with a big full brush because they are super highly pigmented. And I kind of played around with this before. And when I first used it with a smaller, like traditional blush brush, it was just a little too pigmented. And then I used it with something more like a powder brush, just a fuller, longer hair brush. And it diffused the color effortlessly. And it looks beautiful. And I have been reaching for this palette daily. So love it. So the first product that I want to revisit is the Kathleen Lights wad of super shock shadows where the light is I didn't have great things to say about it mainly because I was a little disappointed at the fact that they came in four singles I thought it was going to be somewhat of a palette or just something I could stick them in based off of the pictures that were presented on the website and I get it I know this was such a huge collab and it's like why didn't I know about it I didn't like I don't watch every YouTube video out there and I just like I wanted to try super shock shadows and I felt like it was a safe bet I have used it multiple times now I actually have it on my eyes and I think it looks so so lovely. So here's where I'm at with this quad and the Super Shock shadow formula in general. I think that the shimmery metallic shades are so beautiful. That being said, when you want to use a shade like Cornelius, which it is this beautiful soft brown shade, typically with shades like those, you're going to want to use them with a brush. And I cannot, and I know this isn't groundbreaking, if you have watched any videos on ColourPop before. Super Shock shadows are really best applied with a fingertip application and I know that now but you know what? A lot of my subscribers, my friends and family personally, they don't really know much about ColourPop and I know that's like whoa 
but there are people out there on the internet that are still learning about ColourPop. So if you're watching this video and you don't know much about ColourPop, you really, if you're interested in these Super Shock shadows, you're gonna have to apply them with your fingertips. So if you're not into that, then this formula is not gonna be for you. But I think if you are just looking to get like a super metallic pop across your lid, then these are gorgeous. Like the Kathleen Lights shade, it's called Kathleen Lights. It is so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch this one for you because it is by far the star of the show. So here it is just on my fingertip and then just swatched. And that is what I have on my lids today. Next up, I wanna talk about the No Filter Concealer. One thing also that I wanna mention just with all ColourPop products, and like this is not like a huge deal. It is such an affordable brand, but with their packaging, if this matters to you, I believe everything is probably just silkscreen stamped on. Over time, the stamp is going to wear away and you're not going to be able to see what's on there, but hey, when you're paying $6 for a concealer, can't complain. So this is in the shade Light Neutral, and I think that it is a pretty close match. It definitely has a bit of a golden undertone, which typically works for me, but I think it just oxidizes by one shade, I would say. So keep that in mind. But formula-wise, I think this product is a home run. You cannot beat the coverage, the consistency, the blendability, and wearability for the price. So I don't really have much more to say about that, so that's how I feel about this one. Next up is the Super Shock Cheek Formula in Felicity, and I'm kind of like, ha, 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 because I absolutely could not stand that product with my first impressions and just trying to use it and trying to find a way to incorporate it into my daily routine was impossible so I tossed it. It just was super glittery and if you did watch that first video it like literally you would put it on and it would just crumble like the glitter would roll over itself. It wasn't cute. I get that I kind of messed up in how I misread the description. I didn't see that there was actual glitter particles going into my purchase. And so when I bought it, I was super confused, but I am telling you, even if I was expecting a glitter product, it just, it, it wasn't the formula for me. And I tried using it on my eyes and the fallout was, it, it's just, I don't recommend and also, unfortunately, in the negative <laughs> feedback arena would be the Supernova eyeshadows. And this was in the shade Now or Never. I have tried using this multiple times and I just cannot get this product to work. It's something that you would compare to a Stila Magnificent Metals, and that's what I did in my original video, or the pure eye polishes, and you cannot layer this product. You cannot blend this product. Once you apply it onto your lid, if you try to blend it out, it just peels and flakes off. Unfortunately, I am. this is a hard pass. I just cannot recommend the Supernova eyeshadows. All right guys, I have two more products to give you my feedback on. The Lippy Sticks in Lumiere, which I botched the pronunciation of that in my first video, and I have to say I love the color, I absolutely love the formula of these lippy sticks, and I plan on getting more, and I'm gonna get into that because I need your guys' help in my next ColourPop purchase. Please keep watching till the end, and if you wanna see what this looks like on my lips, then definitely check out my previous video. And finally, I have the Loose Luster Dust Powder in the shade Sugar Pop. Now this is one, if I'm being honest, like I really thought that I was going to hate it, but the more that I use this, I really enjoy it. I was like, there's so much glitter in it, and I used it, and it was so much more of a micro glitter reflect than a particle, so I definitely stand by that. I really do enjoy that product. This brings me to the main impetus of this video. I know that ColourPop recently released their highly anticipated foundation, 
powder and setting powder launch and I am interested in trying stuff. I'm thinking of purchasing the loose setting powder and the powder, the pressed powder, and I'm curious to know if you guys would be interested in seeing a review on that. Also, I want to know what your guys' favorite ColourPop products are because I know this brand is so loved and I'm going to tell you what I have in my cart right now. This is what I'm just kind of like trying to narrow things down and make sure I'm picking out the best things. I honestly, and this is a whole other video, I'm like so over eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes. I don't need any more. I am waiting on a package from an indie brand called Dawn Eye Cosmetics. Stay tuned for that. That being said, I've got the No Filter Pressed Powder in Light, Creme Luxe Lipstick in On Display, another Creme Luxe Lux lipstick in Still Crazy, as well as a matte Lux lipstick in Big Break, an ultra satin lip in Dopey, another ultra satin lip in Alyssa, and Echo Park, and then finally an ultra glossy lip in Wham. That's where I'm at as far as making my next purchase with ColourPop. If you guys have any suggestions as far as what I should try next with ColourPop, please let me know. I want to know what your favorites are. I am so wanting to find like my holy grails within this line. I don't know that I've found it yet. I do love that Kathleen Lights Super Shock eyeshadow. That's prettybomb.com and I really do love their lippy sticks formula. So help me out. Let me know what you guys love. And that's it for this video. If you did like this video, I hope you will give me a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing before you go. And also don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you can be notified with every video that I upload. Have a great rest of your day, night, morning, wherever this video finds you. Bye. Cheers to all the haters because every view and every comment helps me. So from me to you, thank you.